you know, he was in here and everything, right. but we were all were going on about the nature of the speech, but there is one, and not just a paragraph or mention, but I think that there ought to, the opening of the speech ought to be a very warm follow-up to the whole day, which is a, you know, is a tribute to us, and you know, to Nancy and all, and that I ought to speak about that and, uh, and have a, a kind of a thing about, well, the whole <laughs> nature of a kind of farewell, and then could go on into the, uh, the speech of where we go. What you're suggesting, I think, is the beginning of your speech at the convention being very personal yes. before you get into the theme that we talked about as yeah. far as the new yeah. beginning of right. being seven and a half. And I, I forgot all about right. that being the day of the tribute and so forth. I, if you would like me to, I will call Ken. Okay. All right. Okay. I think that's a nice touch. Should be maybe a little moving. I would think so. I don't know if you've had a chance to see the Washington Post poll today, but you remember when I brought in the USA Today poll yesterday? Yeah. The Washington Post ABC poll has some even better numbers. 71% of the people polled said the U.S. cruiser in the Persian Gulf was, actions were justified. 23% disagreed. 65% to 31 approved of the way the President is handling the situation involving the U.S. Navy in the Persian Gulf. The highest rating you have received on this issue since the question was first asked June 1st, 1987. 63% mm -hmm. said the U.S. should, quote, apologize. But 61% said compensation should not be paid. Mm -hmm. I watched Nightline last night, and the beginning of Nightline was the visual of our hostages in Tehran. And how much of an indelible mark that left on the American public. Mm -hmm. And they had speakers afterwards, et cetera, but nothing took away from that one or two minute film clip of our hostages getting bound and blindfolded. But what we are hearing increasingly, and I spoke to Worthland yesterday, what Worthland's strong sense, the polls, USA Today, now the Washington Post, ABC, overwhelming right now against compensation. Hmm. I wonder if they don't, they probably are thinking of reparation and pay to Iran. Mm -hmm. My only thought is compensation to Iran. Yes. Hi, Hi Mr. How President. Are you? Nice, to nice to see you. We're both in Brown. Oh, thank you so much. Well, listen, thank you for all you've done. Oh, aren't you nice? I, I have to ask you a question, though. Yeah. If you let me. Yeah. Um, you have been such an inspiration for my my whole political career. Frank remembers when, when we were in Yaf and first time I heard you speak at CPAC and and everything I've done, but now I'm in the private sector, started my own business, and I want to know if you have any advice for me. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt if I could tell you anything that you won't just automatically be doing. Oh, aren't you nice? Aren't you nice? It's, it's really uh, quite an honor to be here and, and have your blessing. and appreciate it so much. God well, bless you. Listen. Thank you. Take care. Wait one second. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my goodness, because you, uh, if you're going in business for yourself, you're going to need a pen and pencil. <laughs> oh, Mr. President, thank you. I may no. never open it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Thank you. Well, listen, thank you. And good luck as you go through your transition <laughs> to a new career. Yes, it's getting closer and closer. It sure is. Yeah. The country will miss you very much. Well, I appreciate all you've done in the Thank you. Big help. It's been a pleasure. It's been, it's been a labor of love. That's really true. I can say that quite, quite honestly. And more to come. Now I've just got to help American business do better yeah. if I can. Well, and you know, uh, Alec is, I think, never been more important than it is now. Oh, thank you. With another reapportionment coming up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. We've got to draw the right lines. No you question. know, I've got some figures that indicate I haven't been able to keep track of 50 states. But, <laughs> I haven't either. But the, the, there's something like 70 key Seats. Seats. That's right. That would give us a nationwide majority. That's right. And many of those seats are a difference of 10, 12,000 votes 
in elections. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of, yeah. of actually switching in terms of registration, that kind of thing. It's extraordinarily close, but it's very difficult to get people to oh, put the funds in to those races yeah. because it's, you know, it's a race in a state, but they don't understand the significance for the, yeah. whole, for the whole country. But you're right, that's, that's absolutely accurate. It's true. Again, right. thank you, sir, yeah. very, very much, and, and for this and oh, for everything. Thank you. Take care. Stand up because Marlon said he wanted a standing okay. photo. Yeah, we're ready. gonna go over. So I'm gonna tell them whenever they're ready. Okay, that's fine. Move a little to your right, please. Thank you. Thank you.